Hey everyone! Today I will be drawing fan art. It's actually my second fan art that I've posted on this channel, which I usually don't do and I'll explain the reason a bit later. But first let's talk a bit about subject of this video. <laughs> I've decided to draw Diva from Overwatch. I wanted to go with just simple but very cute portrait style. Since I don't draw in this format too often, it's actually pretty fun to just do portraits once in a while. I've picked the idea of Diva holding her phone with bunny ears and also wearing a flower crown, similar to the popular Snapchat filter. I feel like if she'd be a real person, she would definitely try it at least once. <laughs> I know that she's Korean, and usually when I see pictures of cute Korean girls, their faces look like they have absolutely perfect glowing skin. No harsh makeup and this very innocent and fresh look. That is a style I was going for. And I think I achieved it in the end. So, as usual, I start with my lavender color erase pencil. You'll notice that I don't erase it and just go color with paint over it. For paper, I had leftovers of my fluid cold press paper. Cut it into approximately 6.5 by 9 inches. So later, if I would want to make prints, it will size down to 5 by 7 inches perfectly. I think I also go ahead and explain how I make Skin color looks smooth. Before applying first layer of color, I usually make face part of the drawing wet and let paper absorb the water, but not like soaking wet. Then I'll apply first very light layer of color. Make sure that wet paper is evenly wet in all parts. If you put too much water, pigment uh, from paint will not dry evenly there. It sounds hard, but it's actually easy once you practice a couple times. I don't let first layer dry completely, just to the point that paper absorbs paint and it doesn't move with next brush stroke. To place next layer of paint evenly, I still need somewhat wet surface. And then I usually repeat these steps until I get the skin color that I need. Diva has very pale skin, so this time I didn't have to layer a lot. If you go right away with lots of dark paint, it could dry uneven and usually it's not a big deal, but face is the only part I'd like not to have any weird spots <laughs> that I didn't plan myself, obviously. Now let's talk about the whole fan art thing. I don't know if I really talked about it much before, but I don't draw fan art, except like one or two pieces a year if I have a good reason, like tribute gallery show or participation in some collective art book or zine that dedicated to some particular show or book or whatever. And I think it's been at least three years by now. For the longest time I had an idea of working on my own characters and ideas and somehow slowly lost all interest in drawing or buying fan art from other artists altogether. Don't get me wrong, I still love it and scream like crazy <laughs> if I see my favorite characters drawn by somebody that I like. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy it too, it's just like my personal preference. I think when I was younger, I would totally buy fan art of all my favorite characters and plaster them on my walls, but slowly growing up I realized that I would like to put some original art from other artists on my walls instead of just fan art pieces. But I'm about to participate in my first one day con um, slash market that is more like anime oriented and just inspired by all the Japanese culture. I've been at this event previously and also I went to different conventions and noticed that majority of people at Artist Alley uh, sell primarily fan art pieces 
and my portfolio definitely lacks them. <laughs> so I became a little anxious lately, thinking, um, what if nobody knows me? What if um, I, I will not sell anything? Nobody will come to my table <laughs> and <laughs> just, you know, regular anxiety about first time tabling at some convention. That is main reason behind my decision to draw Diva today. And damn, <laughs> Overwatch is hella cute. Let's say I use this opportunity to have fun with characters I like. Honestly, I'd love to draw all of them. And in different skins too. <laughs> have you seen Widowmaker from Summer Games look? Oh man, those glasses killed me. <laughs> if I'd have to pick, I would definitely want to draw um, Zarya, Lucio, Farah, Anna. Well, I have like less than two weeks till this event, so maybe I can squeeze them in my tight schedule. I definitely can tell you that I'm gonna be drawing Anna next because I already made a sketch and pre-recorded it. So at first I thought that I'm gonna record Diva and Anna together, but then um, it took me a while to record <laughs> first picture and I decided to just split it and record Anna next, like maybe tomorrow <laughs> or something. Oh, um. If you're curious, I forgot to mention an event called Mahoto Market and it will be happening in Seattle International District on August 26th. Come over if you want to say hi or buy my stuff. I will probably have Overwatch Originals for sale there. Or maybe not. <laughs> we will see. Also, for this market I got a big paper. It's 11 by 14 fine art printing paper that I'm usually using for my prints in shop, but this one is pretty big. I've noticed people like to buy big prints and also small prints at conventions. So yeah, I'm gonna be printing big some of my art pieces. And this is very exciting for me. I also set aside about 10 to 15 pins that sold out at my store but I specifically wanted to have some of them for this market. So if you want to get one from the first batch, you have still a little chance. Let's get back to drawing for a second. In this particular picture, I decided not to outline a lot. Well, uh, you can see me here outlining here, but later I realized it wasn't necessary because I needed to color her hair very dark brown and in the end you cannot really see all these brown lines, all the little strands of her hair. But I still don't regret it because I like lining, I like outlining with brush and ink, it's a very relaxing process. You also can see me using lots of pencils and blending them. These pencils are Prismacolor Very Thin pencils. They are hard, not soft. <laughs> for some people it's harder to blend them, but not for me. I, I'm actually very used to them because when I was a kid I had, I think, Faber-Castell pencils and I always loved the hard ones, so I just, I just used to that. Overall, I wanted picture to be very soft and pastel, and the only dark part will be here. Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to tell you. Before I forget it, <laughs> okay, let me just say it. And also, I think yeah, you can see it right now on the screen. So, I was getting sick of making highlights, like little dot highlights with Jelly Roll Pen or Sigma Uniball. In my opinion, they both not very good. Uh, and usually if I want to do highlight, I would, not usually, just lately, I would probably pull out white gouache and use it instead of jelly roll. But I was thinking that there should be a better way to do that. So I went on Amazon 
well, yeah, that's where I get all my stuff. And I looked up the white ink. I've seen people using it for calligraphy and drawing really nice with it. But not actually drawing, writing. And since it's very visible on darker paper, I thought that it's perfect and found this Liquitex acrylic ink in titanium white color. And it's perfect. It actually is very matte. It is white and it solves all my problems with using stupid jelly rolls that I hate right now because it skips, it doesn't work, and so is Uniball. Yeah, so from now on I'm going to be using this ink and I highly recommend it, it's really really good. For the last part I couldn't decide what I want to do with Flower Crown. At first I thought maybe leave it like this without outlining or doing anything so it will look more like filter that she uses at her social media or something. But it looked unfinished, so I decided to go for line art and do it with my magenta ink. And her hand was lined with watercolor. And the picture is done. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about my rambling and the voice. I'm recording at 2 a.m. right now and I'm very, very tired. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!